is no excuse for this man to be the head coach of the Cincinnati Biggest. This was the biggest superstar meltdown we have witnessed since LeBron James in the 2011 NBA Finals. We should expect you to keep your job? Why in the hell should, why in the, hell should the Bengals keep this man on right now? This man was a bona fide scrub. The culture of right. the Cincinnati Bengals dictates where you have management notoriously cheap, willing to cut corners, and not willing to go all out to create a culture that, 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 that basically exudes a winning environment. That was my issue. Nothing else about the Cincinnati Bengals. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. The Cincinnati Bengals, I wasn't talking about the games that they won in the regular season, nor was I talking about the talent that they've been able to accumulate over the years. I'm right. talking about the culture that has existed. So you idiots out there who would have a problem with me calling him out, kick rocks. That man should be fired by the top of the hour. It's a disgrace that the city of Cincinnati has tolerated this man for that long. And I, I swear to you, if, it was, if, I, if I was a radio host in, in, in Cincinnati, I'd be calling for a boycott of the Bengals. That's how serious I am about it. He should have been going. So, I also was not surprised by this, but I was sad because of it. I believe in him as a man, and I believe in him as a football coach. After a lot of success, a whole lot of success, you can't sell that to those Cincinnati fans any longer. Now, he deserves to be a head coach in the NFL. He just damn sure didn't need to be in Cincinnati any longer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we leave the franchise, we got some business to handle. We have to honor the greats who have played for the Bengals during my tenure here. These guys deserve the recognition. All right, they've done it all for the Bengals franchise. So it's time to induct some players into the Hall of Fame. All right, first player we have on the list is Adam Yadam. Fully deserves it, all right? Changed our franchise. He's 24 years old, so it doesn't really make any sense to put him in the Hall of Fame. I mean, when you're 24, you're supposed to, you know, be in your, like, second year of the league. But he's already Hall of Fame worthy, okay? You know why? Because I said so. He fully deserves it, all right? Adam Yadam, Hall of Famer for the Cincinnati Bengals. Is that it? There's no, like, animation or anything that you just tap the top right and... That's all it is? All right, that's what I'm looking for. That's pretty dope right there. He's got his gold jacket right there. The 24-year-old linebacker, he has his gold jacket. 275 tackles in 38 games, okay? This guy is an absolute machine. Adam Yadam, well-deserved into the Hall of Fame. The next player we have on our Hall of Fame list will be the Kangaroo. Kendall Carter, he's 23 years old. This absolutely makes no sense. Why am I putting these players in the Hall of Fame? But he fully deserves it as well, okay? Bengals legend. He's better than any Bengals running back to ever exist. This guy has literally won me games, all right? The most underrated play of the whole series is when he tied the game up in last year's Retro Bowl. Nobody ever talks about that play. Kendall Carter right here, man, into the Hall of Fame as well. Let's take a look at him in the gold jacket, all right? Let's see the drip. There he is, man. Look at him. Wow, 2,651 rushing yards in his career, 31 touchdowns, and then he has 1,700 over the air. Like, this guy is just, man, he is an all-purpose back. He does it all for us, man, and that's why he deserves his Hall of Fame inductee status. Is that how you say it? Last person to get inducted into the Bengals Hall of Fame is none other than the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, B. Hall. Brendan Hall, 33 years old. It's probably his last year in Cincinnati as well. He gets the Hall of Fame nod. In my opinion, definitely the best player we've ever had in Bengals franchise history. The best player ever in the NFL. That's right, I said it. All right, this guy's better than Tom Brady. All right, B Hall right here. 3,500 yards in 41 games. This guy has gotten injured more than anybody. He put up 1,700 yards last year, 17 touchdowns. Like, come on, guys. This guy, he's not a two-star player. He literally broke the game, okay? There's no way a two-star player is supposed to be putting up 1,700 yards and 17 touchdowns on this game. B-Hall, congratulations, man. I will definitely miss you, man. It'll be hard to run an offense without you and Kendall Carter. So, it's going to be tough. But you know who else deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? That's right. Manscaped. Let me tell you guys about the Lawnmower 4.0. If you're looking for the perfect gift for your dad, your uncle, your brothers, your friends, your your balls, the Lawnmower 4.0 is going to be your answer, all right? I know Thanksgiving's coming up, you know what I'm saying? Christmas. It's just a fantastic gift for everyone around you and yourself, all right? I've been using it for the last little bit here. 
and honestly, it's been amazing. But let me read off some Hall of Fame stats for the Lawnmower 4.0, alright? Specifically, engineer ceramic blade that cuts through thick and thin hair. And they got advanced skin safe technology with all of their devices that prevents nicks and cuts. It also has a 4K LED spotlight that helps you with a more precise shape, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with the caves and the ravines. With four different length settings and wireless charging, the Lawnmower 4.0 is the best body and groin trimmer. Use code HEFE20 for 20% off and free shipping on any of the products at manscaped.com. Link is in the description. That's 20% off and free shipping with code HEFE20. Link is in the description. Thank you so much, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back into Retro Bowl. Last day in the office right here. Gotta say bye to my coaching staff, Elaine Cannon and uh, Dixie Normus. Uh, Elaine, it was it was nice working with you. Uh, you you kind of messed up in the Retro Bowl, but you know what? I'm not gonna blame you. You know, her system was a big part of Kendall Carter and B-Hall's success, all right? So we can't hate on her. Elaine Cannon did a job. On the other hand, Dixie Normus, you were trash. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. Like, you got a sick name, but like, dude, I, I, I honestly, I miss Mo Lester. Mo was that guy, all right? Mo was a genius, okay? Mo was a defensive god. Dixie Normus, yeah, it just wasn't the same. Obviously, uh, you know, she didn't have Myrick. And to the players, you know what I'm saying? Chark, yeah, I hope you have a good future. I hope you keep growing. Gallup, I already know this guy's gonna be a great player. All right, I, you know, I drafted him. You know, when I draft guys, they always turn to gold, okay? That, that is just a fact. Basham, yeah, I'm just gonna cut you right now. Before I leave, you know, I, I might as well blow the team up. Mentor, yep, you too. Get the, get the hell out of here. You were booted, you were trash, you know what I'm saying? I'm still doing Cincinnati a favor. But here we go. Let's move on. Let's continue. My reputation is widely acknowledged within the game. Of course, you know what I'm saying? Heffy, your mom, I I'm on the market now. You know what I'm saying? Not only am I on the market for a girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the market as a head coach as well. There's teams calling, okay? I I'm elite. Two straight Retro Bowl appearances? Are you kidding me? Thank God I'm getting respected in this league, all right? It's about damn time. But guys, there was a team I had in mind that I wanted to join before this video even started. I wanted to join this franchise, uh, you know, at the start of my Retro Bowl career. It's all coming full circle. All right, three years later, it is time. It's my first time switching teams. Whew. Why am I nervous? I feel a little nervous right now. I'm, I'm literally just recording a video. You know what would be funny? Is if the team that I want to go to just doesn't want me. Like, if I could continue now and they're just not an option, like, I actually might cry. But let's get into it. All right, here we go. Continue. Let's see if... This team is here. Okay, Kansas City doesn't want me. Jacksonville doesn't want me. <laughs> Thank God. The team that I wanted isn't in the AFC. So here we go. Let's see if the team that I want to go to wants me as their head coach. I can't find them. They do. Oh my God, they do. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my next chapter is with my beloved San Francisco 49ers. It is about damn time, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Since the start of the Retro Bowl series, I've been wanting to join my 49ers, and it's time to bring a Retro Bowl to the bay. Five-star offense, four-star defense, the San Francisco 49ers. It is time to take charge. Hefe Yamam is in the bay. Let's go. Cincinnati fans may be in shock today as Hefe Yamam walks out on them to become the new head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Assessing the squad and recruiting new coordinators will be priority upon arrival. That's right. I want my own staff. I want my own staff here. Yamam's allegiance to San Francisco has been well documented and the move won't be a surprise to too many. That is facts. I've been wanting to come to San Francisco ever since the series started. You guys wanted to see me in San Francisco as well. It's time to bring my Niners a retro bowl championship. We've been dreading a championship since 1995, all right? That is like when dinosaurs were alive. I'm sick of it. I'm not having it, all right? We're bringing a championship to my favorite team in real life, San Francisco 49ers. Let's press continue here. A new season begins. A new chapter has opened up in our lives. Here we go. Hefe Yamam has stepped down into the bay. Woo! This feels nice! We're in the NFC West. We play Seattle two times a year. Let's take a look at the front office here. We have Kern and Gillen. Now, Bryson Kern. Half star. Breon Gillen with the handlebars. Why does this guy looks older than him? He's 60 and he's 41. Well, let's take a look at the roster here. You have players with expired contracts. They are on the free agents list. Is you. I, I can't read. They're on the free agents list if you wish to resign them. Okay, let's take a look at our players right here. Ooh, whoa, whoa. We have a lot of free agents here. We do have a lot of cap space. Okay, Pringle. Blaine Pringle. Huh. 23 years old. 
He's got potential for max speed. He's also bald. You know, he's checking off a lot of these boxes. He wants $24 million a year. That is a lot of money for a running back. Okay, he's worth a first round pick as well. So I could sign and trade him if I wanted to. But let's take a look at the roster first, okay? I want to see how many players we have on our team. I'm going to see what type of players is on the San Francisco 49ers roster. Let's take a look. Ooh, we have a guy named Tom. Trust Tom. His name is Truss. Whoa, whoa. Big Truss. Oh my God. Max speed, max catching. This is what I'm talking about. Trust Tom. Wait, how did, when did they put the name Truss into this game? Trust Tom is our receiver, our quarterback, Laramie Mingo. Three and a half star. What kind of hairstyle is that? And then we have Montez Weddle as our kicker right here. Laramie Mingo under center. Okay, okay. I kind of like it. I kind of like this. Let's bring back Pringle. Okay, I, I like Pringle's stats. Uh, let's sign him to a $24 million deal. We can always trade him if we don't want him here. Running back, Blaine Pringle. Welcome back to the squad, homie. There's our big three right there, all right? Trust Mingle Pringle. I like it. Easton Street, you're some booty. Uh, Glennon, Shane Glennon, 24 years old. He's also worth a first round pick. And he's got five star potential as well. Um, Tyrod Ebner. Yeah, no, we're, we're gonna get rid of you. Colin Reeser and Shane Glennon. Now, we literally don't have any defensive players on our roster. So I think we have to bring Shane Glennon back at least. All right, let's bring back Shane Glennon. Reeser, on the other hand, I think we'll bring him back as well. Three years, $14 million deal. He's 32 years old, so he's a little old. But we can also trade him as well. So Colin uh, Reeser is back on the squad okay there is our starting squad right there not bad not bad we definitely need some more players though shane glennon colin reeser back with the squad let's take a look at free agency we only have 14 cc so we can't really afford any of these guys and so i think our best bet honestly is to build through the draft i think we have to build through the draft this could be a project obviously with trust you know what i'm saying mingo pringle we already have an explosive offense here all right but we do need to build this defense because uh, I'm not trying to have my defense give up that many points anymore. Okay, I, it's pissing me off. So, I think I'm going to leave it here. We are in the bay. A new chapter has opened up in our lives. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys actually influenced me a lot to restart the series. So many of you guys are like, keep Retro Bowl going. Go to San Francisco. Rebuild the Niners. And half of your mom responds. Okay, half of your mom is in the bay. It's time to bring the Niners back to glory.